for talking at Think Museums. Today we are in Reno, Nevada, and we are exploring an exhibition titled King of Beasts. If this is your first time in this channel, thank you very much for stopping by. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell for more updates every week. The exhibition features 30 paintings of John Banovich, career spanning 25 years. Some of his works can be found in uh, private and corporate collections as well as museums throughout the world. But this particular exhibition that is being hosted here at Nevada Art Museum was launched on uh, November 9th, uh, 2019. And it's running until February the 16th, 2020. So for you folks who are out here in Reno, Nevada or Northern California, or if you're just passing through Reno, if you get a time, just uh, drop the Nevada Art Museum and explore this exhibition. Some of the paintings that he has here, as you can see. But I don't think my camera is giving me, is doing much justice to the work that the artist has put on these paintings. I'm just looking at it and the details and the depth of the paintbrush it's superb you know you need just to be here and see or explore or look and even document this wonderful exhibition please check on the description below i will leave the link to nevada art museum so you can see the wonderful exhibitions they are hosting they seem to have temporary exhibitions running on and off and they're doing some wonderful things here in their galleries. thing to note is that his paintings are used to raise awareness about some of the species that are facing extinction, mostly from human activities. I'm just noting seeing that um, even though it's an exhibition about the lions, I'm seeing the group of buffaloes here too and that is interesting too because um, um, I didn't know the buffaloes are in danger of if at all they're you know they're always mean looking and it's even difficult for the lions to hunt the buffaloes you know, anyway the lion has served as a symbol of strength in most um, in most countries and a lion is related to bravery you know and it's strong and all that you know, a lion doesn't get much, you know, bad reputation. People seem to have, you know, some good, some good affection towards a lion. So that is good to know. And even though people have all this affection for the lion, they are still in danger. And right now in the world, their population is, you know, is dwindling. So. That's why there's a big need to, you know, to raise funds and try and conserve these wonderful animals. I'm happy to be part of the visitors to these museums that are contributing towards something, creating a more sustainable tourism by raising funds for protecting, you know, some of the species that are in danger again from human activities. Just looking at the exhibition about King of Beasts, you can, we notice that museums are slowly getting out of their, you know, their role of just collecting and, and storing cultural artifacts to playing a social and community function by offering services that are out of their general scope. For example, playing key roles in conservation efforts. The man-eaters of Savo were a pair of man-eating lions in uh, Savo region. During the construction of the railway from the coastal Kenya in 1898, the man-eaters of Savo also formed the film culture when Hollywood adapted, adapted them for the movie uh, The Ghost and the Darkness. 
1996. Something to note is that uh, the money eaters of servos when they were killed by Patterson, he sent the bodies to Chicago Field Museum. So if you also get a chance to visit Chicago, you can see that exhibition at the Field Museum. Some of the best museum experience that I have had is when I visit museum, not just to learn, but also to socialize and converse um, with other visitors. So museums are slowly being deconstructed from being places where you just shelf object to places where current, be it political, social discourse is discussed. You know, sharing with you about the collection at Nevada Museum of Art will inspire you to take a trip to the museums and see what uh, kind of collections they have because there's so many things to learn in there. Thank you guys for watching my presentation here at the Nevada Art Museums. Uh, I'll be shooting more presentations in different museums in the world. So, uh, subscribe to them.